What is your like? What's your favorite mythological creature? I think I asked this before. Oh man, that's a tough one. You're just gonna that spring off me one. like that. I kind of like reverse centaur. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but I'm making it <laughs> one now. What is? <laughs> wait, I need to know what <laughs> the schematics of your reverse centaur are because they're probably different than mine. I, I feel like there's only two ways that goes, and that's like the upper, like neck up, is like the torso of a horse, and then bottom down is like uh, a, like a man body. So you kind of just look like that weird bloodborne monster a little bit, or it's like a horse body with like man legs, which would also be fucking weird. Um, see, my idea of a reverse centaur is like a regular centaur, but instead of the the chest being at the front, it's at the back where the butt is. Oh god, and it's like inverted and shit, <laughs> I like that. Why did you- I have one in my hand. Uh, did I go too far? Yo, uh, Zach, one of your songs has been stuck in my head today. Which one? Uh... Um, God, I I can't remember what it's called. It's like it's like um, it's like guns and shopping malls. Oh, too far gone. Malls. Yeah. Oh. Why did I think that it was called that? Uh, that uh because name? that's the name. Yeah, it's the name of the demo tape. Where am I hand this to him? Yeah. I'll take it. Can I, just take my I don't know if I started the timer or not. Uh, I'll yeah, that did. Yeah, that, that's actually a uh, pretty catchy song. When can I get Gorilla Man on Apple Music? Um, soon. Tight. Yeah, you keep saying that, but like... I need it. If Do I you had... think zombies get cold? Um, it looks like it. Weird. Yeah, you must have done something to them. I don't think they get... I don't think they feel cold, but they can get cold that was brought up in the the book uh world war z is based off of i think by the same name they have like a winter and like the zombies like freeze because like they don't produce like body heat so like they just basically turn into like frozen meat they freeze to yeah. death no they just aren't able to move as quickly yeah hmm. and i thought that was like an interesting concept because realistically that probably would happen yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, here's a question. Do zombies still take craps? That's actually a really good question. Yeah, I, I don't like think I've ever heard anyone I, ask that. I've never heard that either. That's kind of eye-opening. It's a good name for an episode. Uh, I feel like if, like, you're wearing pants, oh, God, they're probably so full of, like, poop. That's they're rough. so f They're so full of poop. Yeah, because they're just, oh, like, yeah. shitting their pants and eating people. And that's like all meat. Ugh. Yeah. I assume they would have to poop because yeah, they I eat. Yeah, I mean, everything does. Everything that eats poops. But like, do zombies eat to, to like, stay alive or do they eat to spread a disease? That's No, nah, I don't think that But like, I don't think it matters. I don't think that they're conscious enough to do it knowing that they're spreading a disease. No, nah, that's well, how, that's how like, do that they, shit works. Do they digest? The human meat, or do they just eat until are the point where their meat? insides are blow? Human or, or bug meat. Like, because if they digest it, then that means they poop. But if they don't digest it and they keep eating until they explode, then they don't poop. Well, I mean, I'm thinking because if they like, <laughs> like they they have to eat to sustain themselves. I guess that's why they want to eat. But so like, much. do they? Because they're already dead. Then, yeah, well, like, then it comes down to, like, what kind of zombie are you talking about? Is it, like, yeah. is it, like, virus zombie? Is it, like, paranormal zombie? Nazi zombie? There uh, are too many rules. I think many I, I, I'm, t I'm trying to talk about the most realistic form of zombie that could happen. Cordyceps. What? A cordyceps. That would be the most realistic one. What is that? A cordyceps is, uh, it's a parasite in the Amazon that infects ants and makes them go to the highest oh, point dude, possible. Oh, dude, I've seen that! And then it so explodes creepy. out their head. Yeah, that's what uh, the, the Last of Us, that's what that's based off of. The Cordyceps. 
fungus. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's... So what? So it just makes people like kill themselves, or uh, no? It's, no, it's it, a thing like... that ants get. Yeah, and, and it burrows like in the brain of an ant and literally turns it into a zombie. Yeah, uh, whereas like it's basically just a meat suit and the fungus is just wearing the ant so that it can like spread. It's all oh, so scary. Yeah. I saw one infected yeah. tarantula. Terrifying. I don't know if it was photoshopped or not, but I just remember looking at it and being like, that's gonna haunt me for a couple days. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna need to look this up now. What's it called? Cordycep. Cordycep. You might check spell it like how you think it's spelled, and then it'll autocorrect it. Because I know it's like weird. There's like a Y in it. There's definitely like a, a David Attenborough type. The Quartzicep yeah. is a Amazonian bacterium yeah. that is found in the native regions of Peru or you know wherever the Cord fuck. Ever. Cordyceps, it's called. Yeah. It's a uh, genus of as. Asomycete fungi that includes about 400 species. So you are, uh, you're pretty wide on that. Those things are fucking scary. Let's go see the girls. It's a oh fungus. Oh my god, they're blindfolding like fungus, me? Yeah. And it like infects and then spreads its spores. Wait, what, what just happened? He just got I'm going to see the girls. Oh wow. Oh my god, is that fucking Orlando Bloom? <laughs> that's that's a dude from High School Musical. Who is also in Holes. And that's one of the Jonas oh, he, brothers. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's um he's zero in Holes. Yeah. That's so weird that, that they're like. I can't think of his fucking name. Just their faces. Uh, uh, Corbin Blue. I think you're right. Yeah, see, I know shit. His chin is very pointy. It is. Kinda like that hat. Not that hat. That's a little whack. I'm sorry, but if that person wasn't, like, a famous person, and that was just like a dude wearing that hat randomly in public, you'd be like, mm-mm. You'd be like, nah. Most people would, I'd be like, that guy is weird. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Like, you can only wear crazy clothing if, if you're famous. you have clout. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, they're gonna send us to investigate Monica. I'm so lost at what we have to do. <laughs> this girl stuff, Baden, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, I'm like, what? I grew up in a house of mostly women, though. I feel like I should know that. But, like, I'm like, what's going on? So I have to pretend to be Bebe's boyfriend? You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Okay. Cool. Sounds easy. Maybe, uh, maybe this will turn into a real girlfriend. Baby's got boobs. <laughs> I love that episode. Oh, that's a very good uh, episode. Oh uh, yeah, they turn into cavemen. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what are they listening to? You should go into that vent. Yeah. See so if you can go tiny. How? Turn into use your oh, use your gnome I got dust. It. Smuggler. Go around! Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, nice. the Imperial Beard. Nice. Very important, the Imperial Beard. I, uh, that's like the Martin Van Buren beard. <laughs> He's my favorite president. Just because of his beard? His facial hair, yeah. I don't really know much about any of his, like, views. He... I don't... All I know about him didn't. is that he died. Same. What? Who was he before slash after? Do you know? No, I don't remember. He's he died, or was he assassinated, or did he die from something else? I know he died in office. Did he? Well, I'm pretty sure. I always get him confused sometimes. With I think it's Zachary Taft Tyler. Who, who you probably died get him of, uh, confused with? Is that the guy who died of eating a bunch of- I thought it was Taft, who died- he- they ate a bunch of cherries and milk and their stomach exploded during the speech. 
What? That's a president. No. That happened. No. Google it. Oh, um, no. Martin Google Van Buren. Fake news. Google it. Swear to God. Google that. Look it up. Um, there was a president who gave a speech so long in the rain that he caught pneumonia and died like that, three days later. That was, um... Oh. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Like, Arthur? Like Mil uh, uh, Chester Allen Arthur? It might have no, been. No, I don't think that's him. Well, there were two Arthurs. Uh, Martin Van Buren did not die. I, I take that back. In he's, he was immortal. He's yeah. still alive he's an elder today. God. He's just he's, like, ah. He's uh, 250. He's the husband of Jeruby. He was the first president born after uh, America got their independence. I did not know that. Um. Yeah, it was Zachary Taylor. He died of. I yeah, I just damn. I look. I just looked him up too. Yeah. He died of eating a bunch of cherries and milk, and then doctors were like, "We got nothing." He he just ate a bunch of these. Try because it was like really hot, and he like tried to cool off or something. So he but he died in the middle of a speech. I think it was like a like a speech no, I, or just he, he was doing something and just died. There was someone who who gave yeah speech in the rain and they yeah. got sick. Yeah, that's who I'm Maybe. talking about. I'm I'm looking up someone. He's at a Fourth of July thing that and then consumed large quantities of cherries and other fruits with like. Pits and seeds and stuff in them. I guess, yeah, and then just Yeah, if you eat die. enough of those, like, you will get cyanide poisoning. Um... Yeah, it was, uh... Oh, the guy after Van Buren was, was the one, I think, oh, who, yeah. who gave the speech, yeah. Jefferson Davis just looks like a shaved Lincoln. Really? Throwing that out there. Shaved Lincoln, also a really, uh, I'm gonna use that as a term for something. Don't know a what shaved yet. Lincoln? Yeah, I'm gonna start calling something shaved Lincoln. That could Lincoln's. definitely be a sex term. Yeah. Um, that's when you sh shave your balls. Yeah. And you're, like, everything. You, you just give it the a old shaved Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> shaved Lincoln log, you know? <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's not that funny. <laughs> you seem to be Where am I it? supposed to be going? Jesus Christ! Are we in the woods again? I don't know. God, I just I know that episode is about to end. We have to pretend to be Baby's boyfriend somewhere. Yeah, we gotta go to the park. Isn't I thought they said Stark's Pond. Oh uh, yeah, Stark's Pond. But I'm like there, and I don't see a quest marker. Well, you must not be there. Um, you must be square. Uh. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. It was the park. I take it all back. Sorry. I'm sorry. You used Timmy to get there. Well, I'm gonna stop the police station because there's a quest I can turn in.